Thanks, the dawn. It's nice to be here on another edition of ISTV Banter's Corner with, of course, the Nubian Praise. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for the privilege again, um, the dawn. Ha! Huh. Today, so many things. The menu is actually hot as usual, hot and peppery. But where do I start from? Mm. And yeah, you finally, finally, you've been able to get rid of the elephant from the top of the tree. Hiya, Leo. It was you. Hmm. Aye Doriko do Kumaye Watu Avi Bati Ereni Elephant Yi Dorigi. You have finally brought the elephant down. That is to say that finally, finally, Arsenal have actually been dumped from the summit of the Premier League. The elephant has finally come down. As City has finally regained top spot in the Premier League, even though they have a game in and well, 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 well. Arsenal actually fought the good fight of faith, but it looks like faith. <laughs> it seems to be against them as they are finally dropped off from the summit of the Premier League table with Manchester City taking over. But again, they can reclaim it. At least they can look forward and say, okay, if they beat Chelsea, they can go back to the summit of the table. But what can Chelsea do? Even if they beat us now, where are they going to? So if you want to mock us now, I think you need to think twice because the team that you want to mock is doing very very well and even if you win you, you can't go anywhere if Arsenal wins they go back to the top of the league if Chelsea wins yeah I mean maybe they go to 11th and they are still not far from the drop zone but anyways it is what it is the elephant has come down from the summit of the table and we we'll hope to go back to the summit of the table if it can get a good result against you know London rivals and I need to remind you that this season Arsenal are one of the Arsenal have had a very good on London in London against London teams. Um, they've only dropped points against um, Brentford in the one-one draw, and of course uh, West Ham in the two-two draw. So for Chelsea, they'll be looking to get their scalp and go back to the summit of the table. That said, I go from Arsenal to Chelsea and to Lampard. You see, this week has been last week has been very interesting. Pundits have actually come out to say. Uh, it looks like Lampard is not cut out for the coaching job. This man has lost all five games since he became Chelsea's caretaker boss at the end of the season. And under him, Chelsea have actually lost their consistency. Consist 
consistency if you know what i mean they finally lost their 11th spot their 10th spot they dropped to 11th and now they are 12th on the lock you know and they could and they could even go for that down if they lose to Arsenal. and result go the, the results of the other teams being below them actually go you know against them go in the favor of the opponents and go against them literally and for lampard they are saying this is not good enough you know since lampard um started coaching he's been fired too many times. I mean, he's been fired by Chelsea, he's inspired by Everton, and now he's at Chelsea again and it's not looking good. Five games losing streak. But again, if you say, ah, they want to laugh at uh, Lampard, I mean, should managers like Gary Neville be laughing at Lampard? I, I, don't, I don't think so because these are these are managers that, <laughs> I mean, someone like Gary Neville, all the games that he managed at, via, at, at Valencia, how many games did he win? So literally, it's not <laughs> when you are talking about wanting to laugh at your enemy, uh, Gary Neville doesn't have what it takes to laugh at Lampard. They belong to the same WhatsApp group, you know what I mean, the same WhatsApp group of failures. So <laughs> I mean, one cannot laugh at the other. They should both, people should gather, and, gather together and laugh at both of them. But well, that's for that's for Lampard. I, I don't know, if Chelsea sacks him, I don't know who's going to hire him again. But well, anyway, uh, the, the life of the coach is to be hired and to be fired and to be hired. You know, they hire them to fire them, to fire them to rehire them. That's the way. And of course, anytime you are, anytime you fire them, you fire them with some good money. That uh, coaching job is the only job you do that you get paid for being sacked. I mean, very, 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 very interesting. Ah, then from from Lampard, I go to really this week. I mean, is Premier League serving us so much of banters. And remember, Virgin by that. The world best defender of Virgin van Dijk. <laughs> the man that they claimed in a whole year they did not dribble pass. He looks like a customer for three to six days. The way they are just dribbling in front right everywhere. Everywhere you see Van Dijk just dribbling. The only thing that dashes Van Dijk these days is that triples. Everybody is just dribbling. Did you see what happened yesterday against Tottenham Moscow? Kai, 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 kai. Did you see how Paris turned him into? He, he turned him into something else. He nearly, he nearly, he nearly broke his. Broke his, broke his back bone with that trip. Jesus! They all turned Van Dyke to, to somebody with a grief, big Uncle Bernard. I mean, he was literally past, frustrating for Paris. You know, when, when back then, when we were telling them that Van Dyke tries to avoid one on one situations where he would get tripped, they said, No, you cannot dribble past Van Dyke. Now that they've been pushing him to face, you know, attacks, now they, they, they keep exposing him. I mean, what's the difference between Van Dyke and Maguire? I should not go there. Really? What's the difference now? Like, like seriously, let's talk. What's the difference between Van Dyke and Maguire? Uh, well, Maguire scores one goal. Van Dyke does not score one goal. For, I mean, he's literally as porous as Maguire. He cannot even defend him to save his life anymore. I mean, Liverpool might have to look elsewhere for their Rocco. This this rock don't they don't they be cool. <laughs> it sounds funny, I mean. Well it's it's what it's what it is. Uh Alan. We should talk about Alan. What again are we going to say about Alan? He scored again yesterday? Alan, he scored again yesterday. Now he has 34 goals. The very first player to score 34 goals in a 20 team Premier League season. The last person that scored 34 goals, of course, did it when they had 24 teams in the Premier League season. So they literally played 22 matches. But this time around, they are playing 18 games and somebody has scored 34 Premier League goals. And you see, as like, Five six games left this season, so tendency that might be hitting forty goals. You see, when we say Alan is a cheat, when we say they, they, I mean, you know, Pep Guardiola built a very good team. Now come hard cheat code on top of it. I'm not saying you should not beat them, but I bet clap for Arsenal. The fact that Arsenal can even be in the title race now, clap for them. You know, some people they were only mentioned that to be in the title race at the beginning of the season, before the season started. You know, teams like Liverpool, Manchester United. Um, Chelsea, Tottenham, they were in the you know, conversation before the season started. When the season started, then of course, the man you said, no, you want to be, the man you entered the title conversation. But now, of course, they are not in the, in the race, they are only in the title conversation. They are talking when you are talking about, ah, you are fighting for the title, Manchester United, you say, ah, yes, you mentioned us in the title conversation, but not in the title race. When you are talking about the title race, it's strictly a two of small between Arsenal and Manchester, uh, and Manchester City. Of course, <laughs> I mean, I keep saying that Manchester United, since after Fergie, Manchester United has become, you know, the team in the red shirt half of Manchester. When you are talking about the, the, the side of Manchester that good things are happening, it's the blue half. You see that red side, uh, sad things are happening. 
own goal, um, sacking of managers, this or no trophies, I mean, um, dropping from Champions League to go Pali, that's the sad things happening in the, you know, rated half, the red half of, of Manchester. Um, in in Syria, <laughs> well, Napoli will eventually win the Syria Taisu because those following them are like three idiots. Inter Milan, AC Milan, the Lazio, they are just like three idiots. They keep dropping points. When Napoli drops points, like you expect that they will win to at least now that they will drop points. So obviously, Napoli will eventually win the Taisu, but it's not down to them being very good, right? but it's down to those following them being chief of inconsistency, you know, those dropping points everywhere. And of course, that has played into the hands of, of Napoli, so that's an advantage for Napoli. They eventually be crowned with that, and like I said, um, the last time, uh, it looks like uh, it looks like Madonna sat on the destiny of so many of the teams he played for, you know, Napoli, and of course, the Alba Celeste, since he died, you know, Argentina has gone to win the World Cup, even with a side not as talented as you know, it was not inside that the prime Messi, at least a tiny Messi, a Messi that, that has literally retired from competitive football. He has left Barcelona to go to, he has left La Liga to go to French League, you know, he's tired you now, even though he claims not to be tired, but, but again, you can see he's tired. And of course, he won the World Cup when you have players, that, when they had very good players, the Guayin, the, 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 the Best, they put him in Aguero, they put him in the World Cup. But with Macalista, with uh, Enzo Fernandez, the, the 120 million pounds front that Chelsea bought from them. <laughs> now they, are, they won the World Cup. So it, it tells you that it looks like uh, Maduna Charlie sat on their chest. Look at Napoli now. When they had Cavani, when they had uh, all these guys, they couldn't win it. But now, now with Osime, with Caravan, uh, that guy, you won't break my job because I won't pronounce him. I beg. You know what I'm, what I'm talking about? That magician on the things. Uh, now with him, he's Paletti now. They are about winning the city at Well, good for them, good for them. May the, may the soul of um, the Guaman to Maduna continue to rest in peace. At least, he's he, uh, he one of the things they win trophies now. So it's, it's good, it's good for them. Ah, well, bands, bands, bands everywhere. How many people will get tickets caught? I am very, 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 very sure. Let me just imagine that call your ticket. Manchester United as well, yeah. They were looking for Coco. Coco to go back. They be the guy shaking here for me. They couldn't get Google to go back. They be the guy again, you know, proving the work of Gibraltar, stopping Asambia from scoring. So, got three points. Asambia, no points. Um, ticket, when this get on court, you get caught everywhere. Yeah. So, they are muscle, you see those ones. <laughs> I think they will have the title at the end of the season. They will have an award. They clown team of the of the season. How can you consider three goals in 15-20 minutes? You will never learn. Same thing happened to them against um, Newcastle because they get five in the first half. Now they are playing Liverpool again. They consider three goals. Anyway, they go to Europa League or Conference League. Ah, the end at the weekend. Ah, Brighton hit goals for six. <laughs> they said Newcastle, not only you feel one. What well, Newcastle did, they went a step better. It's got six and they get the clean sheet. And, well, it's, it's very interesting, Sean. It's very interesting. And it's, it's, this week is going to be interesting again because they are making this just um, Aston will play Chelsea tomorrow. Um, I mean, City will also play on Wednesday. Maybe we can do this stuff. And of course, weekend, if you are Premier League weekend, then Champions League will come next week. It's going to be fun. I'll catch you definitely at the same time next week. Don't mind my mood, though. Don't mind my I'll be you know, quiet. You are money, the elephant that, you know, drop down from me. You are trying to shoot the elephant to be sure that the elephant is not. You don't want to break one or two bones. Well, I'll come back stronger and better next week. And of course, Savvy premium banter content as I usually do. So, still, then stay tuned. Dylan, take it over.